Welcome back to another interesting tutorial on this channel. So today's tutorial will be on a double handkerchief flay with kissing pleats. So today you'll be learning the tips and tricks to making a handkerchief flayed. But this time around it's going to be a double handkerchief flay. Okay, if you look at, at the picture we have on the thumbnail, on the screen there, you can see that the flay, handkerchief flay is on both sides, okay, on the left and on the right. So now that means that whatever thing we are going to draft for one, we are going to cut the same for the other one on the right side. So if we are cutting for the right side, we are going to cut two times of it to have it on the right and on the left just as you are seeing on the screen right there so the first thing we are going to do now is to determine the radius of this handkerchief flame now i want you to note that we are working with a waist circumference for this tutorial i'm working with a waist circumference of 32 inches so whatever circumference your waist is Please note it down. That is, follow these calculations and that is how we are going to cut this handkerchief flay. So right now, the waist around, taking the tape around your waist is 32 inches. Because we have a double handkerchief flay, I'm going to divide my waist by 2. So 32 divided by 2, I have 16 inches. So I want you to note that at the center front of that particular flay, of course that is a gown okay so it means you are going to attach a handkerchief flay to your gown that is what it means the the picture you are seeing on the screen there is a gown with handkerchief flay on that on both sides so if you look at the center front you can see the handkerchief flay is not attached directly from the center front we have a distance of two inches from that particular waist before you attach your handkerchief flay. So what does that mean? It means from the center front, we'll move away by two inches. And the same thing we are doing on the center front, that is exactly what we are going to do on the center back. So having divided the waist, the whole waist by two, we are working on one part of the waist, which is 16. So if we are moving away by two inches from the center front, for the front, and we are moving away by two inches for the center back, it means we have two plus two which will not be included on our handkerchief flay that is four so the half of the waist which is 16 i'm going to take away this four inches which is not included on the handkerchief flay and here i have 12 inches so the red the second friends half second friends i'm working on this handkerchief flay now is 12 inches but i want you to know that the handkerchief flay we have right there on the screen has a kissing pleat that means you need a, a pleating allowance so the pleating allowance i want to add here i'm going to kiss split it three three inches three three inches meaning that on the right side i have six inches coming and I, on the left side i have six inches coming to meet each other as a kissing pleat so that means six coming this way six coming this way is another 12 inches so the 12 inches i have right now calculated plus my 12 inches kissing pleats all together i'm working with a circumference of 24 inches so with this 24 inches right now that is what i'm going to use to calculate my radius okay so my radius right here is 20 24 i'm going to divide by 6.28 we are dividing by 6.28 because this handkerchief flay is a full flay. But this time around, it's not a circle, it's a square. So we are going to use, the radius is going to be a full circle. And that is why we are using 6.28 to divide it. So 24 divided by 6.28, right here I have 3.8. So I'm working with a radius of 3.8 right now. So now we'll be cutting our radius of our handkerchief flay with 3.8. So note that we are cutting only one part of this handkerchief flay, as you can see on the dress, on the thumbnail. So whatever radius I use to cut one, that is what I'll also use to cut two. Whatever thing I do on one part of this handkerchief flay, that is what I'm going to do on the other. 
So right now I'm going to come in with my paper right now to show you how to cut this handkerchief flay perfectly. All right, people. So I come in with my paper right now, so you can see my paper. So the first thing I do, just like you fold to cut your your normal flay. That is exactly what we are going to do. Okay. So for your normal flay cutting, the first thing you do is to fold by two. This is the crease line. I'm creating the crease line. And once that is done, I'm going to cut again by two. Can you see? So if I'm cutting my normal peplum or normal flay, this is exactly what I'm going to do for a 360 normal flay. Okay, so that is the same thing you are going to do for a handkerchief flay as well. So for this handkerchief flay, it depends on the length you want this handkerchief flay to be. But I want you to know that we are cutting a radius of... So the next thing I want to do, if this is the length and the radius you have calculated for your handkerchief flay, I'm taking the measurement of what I have on this paper, assuming this paper is my fabric, okay? So I have 14 inches here. You have to also make sure what you have in here is also 14 inches, okay? So now I'm going to mark out the 14 inches... And on this point, I'll also mark out 14 inches. What am I doing here is a square and try to create. Okay, so before you cut out your handkerchief flay, you need to create your square. So now that I've created my square, I'm going to cut out what I have on this part. And this is not part of a handkerchief flay at all. So you can see the paper I have here is a square fabric once it's been folded. So now the next thing we want to do is to mark out what we have here as a radius of 3.8. So now I'm going to measure 3.8. I'm going to take the radius of 3.8. Of course, I, there is no 3.8 in here. You, it might be difficult for you to figure it out. So I'm using 3.75, okay? So you take a lesser, the closest lesser figure on that part, okay? All right, so now I have my flare and I, my radius and I'm going to cut it out right now. Can you see? So now what I have right here, I'm going to open it up. So the measurement of what I have from this point is 10 inches and what I have from this point is also 10 inches so that is how you are supposed to have your handkerchief clay so now i'm going to open up this clay and once this clay is opened i'm going to make a crease line okay i'm going to mark out one of the crease lines for you to see because i'm going to make references to this crease line okay so where i have four lines here four twist lines if you look at it it's just a square with a hole with a circle at the center so on one part of it i'm going to make a crease line you can make your crease line anywhere around this circle what i have here is this full square okay if you look at it you can see i have a full square right here with a circle at the center and you can see the crease lines all over so on one of the crease lines which I marked, I'm going to cut from there. For this particular handkerchief double flay with kissing pleats, we are cutting on one of the cardinal lines, okay? So once you cut on that cardinal line, the next thing is going, you are going to do is to measure what you have on the next crease line. If you remember, this is the crease line we have. One, two, three, four. So if you cut on one of them, the next crease line, okay, you are going to put your tape on the next crease line and measure what you have right here. So here I have 7 inches. So half of 7 inches is 3.5. I'll make a mark to 3.5, as you can see. So once I've made that mark to 3.5, I'm going to fold this part of the circle to meet up with this part of the circle. So as I'm folding it, I'm trying to make... A line that will match up with it like this can you see 
Can you see? So that is what you are expected to do. Can you see that? Okay. So once you do that, this is what you are going to do. After you must have sewn this on fabric and turn it around before you do this. What I mean is this, as you have cut, you now go and um, stay, turn out with your lining the way it is as a square. Okay, before you do what I'm doing now. After you must have turned, if you're adding your crinoline or adding whatever you want to add, and have given it a good press, that is when you are going to do what I'm doing right here. Because what I'm doing now is the finishing of this double kissing hand, handkerchief flay. So now I'm going to fold. All right, so now you are going to fold this line to match up with what you have on the circle. All right, so this is what you expected to do for this part. And if you have a pin, you just pin them down immediately. So coming over to this point, this twist line, you are going to repeat what you did right here. So I'm going to take the measurement of what I have from here to here. And of course, it's the same 7 inches that I have. So I'm going to find the midpoint of the 7 inches from this next twist line. And I'm also going to fold. I'm going to hold it down with my pin, as you can see. So I'm going to repeat the same thing I did here. Taking half from the crease line, I'm taking half of the circle to the part crease line I cut. And I'll also fold it in. So like I earlier said, before you do this, make sure you have sewn your lining, you have sewn your stay, giving it a good press before you do what I'm doing right here, okay? So now I folded this part into just like I did on this part, okay? So exactly what I did now, that is what I'm going to repeat for the other side. So once I'm done, we'll be going over to the dress form. I'll be showing you how you are going to uh, sew this on your dress. So now you can see the center crease line have, have been folded. And the one, the crease line opposite it, you are going to mark it as the side of this dress. So I'll be writing side. So once we get to the dress form right now, this will be on the side of the body. Why this part is going to form the center front. And this part is going to form the center back, okay? So I'm going to repeat, duplicate what I did right here for the left-hand side of this play. Then we'll go back to the dress form so I, I can show you how to sew it into your upper bodies. All right, people. So now I've already pinned uh, the flay on one side like i said i uh, this particular handkerchief flay is to be made two times so exactly what i cut on this on the table that is what i cut for this so once you use your fabric now you see this flay falling exactly the way it is on the thumbnail okay so if you follow this particular cutting pattern you are going to get this handkerchief flay the way it is exactly on the thumbnail so right now, I will show you how you are going to sew this into your gown. Remember, you need to make the upper bodies of your gown first. Once you make the upper body of your gown, identify the center front. From the center front, come in by 2 inches. So now, I'm going to measure from the center front of my fabric. Assuming this is my fabric which I'm making, I've come in by 2 inches. Okay, so here... I'll put my pin and that is where I'll start to pin. Remember, this is the center front marking. So we are going to place a notch to the center front. Of course, the center front and the center back looks alike. Okay, they are all the same thing. So now you choose one part to be your center front and the other two to your center back. You remember I made a line on this side. So the line I have on this side, that is where you are going to pin the side seam on the side seam okay this part when you are pleating you have to make sure you have it on the side seam so now i will start pleating after two inches you can see i also have pleated after two inches so i'll secure with my pin now this is my side back 
So I will ensure I have this on the side back as you can see. So now I'm going to bring in what I have here and make my kissing clip. So I'm making my kissing clip facing what I have right here. Okay, so I'll just keep bringing this till I have exactly what I want on that particular part. Okay, so remember we are working with pepper right here, but once you have this on your fabric, you will have it exactly the way we have it on that pattern. So you can see the side. The side now is that is where you need to have your side. Now coming over to the center back. I will go in by two inches from the center back before I start pleating. Okay, because that is exactly what we calculated. So you can see this part was folded in and that is how you are going to fold it in on your fabric. So now I will pin exactly as if I am sewing this place to my dress and I will bring in what I have here. The excess I have here, which is what we added for our kissing clip, I'm going to bring it to kiss what we have on the other part as well. Okay, so once you cut this on fabric and sew on your dress, you see that particular style come out exactly the way it is. Okay. All right, so the back part of it is going to lay like this. Once you cut on your fabric, it's going to lay, you know, this is pepper, but it will just fall, okay? And you have four inches gap. From center front, center back, four inches, you have your zipper in between. From center uh, back, two inches. Then the side, you have the side seam. As you can see, the kissing pleats, if you want it to kiss each other, you can. If you want to have some gaps, you can. Okay? So anyhow, you want to do this. And this is the front. Okay? So once you cut on fabric, like, like I earlier said, it falls the way you want it. Okay? So that is it. And you can see how beautiful this is looking. And all that. So this is the effect of the handkerchief play. As you can see, the beautiful effect of, of the handkerchief here, they are all showing themselves there. Alright, so that is how to go about this double handkerchief flay with kissing, please. Alright, so if you want to kiss, let me bring it out to show you how you can bring it together if you want the both of them to meet together, okay? All you do is to bring it a little closer. You bring your pleating a little closer. And you see, while you still have the side where it is, you just bring it a little closer to the side. Okay, then you also bring this a little closer. I think this this looks better so you need to be creative okay when pleating it in you need to be creative to know exactly where you want your kissing plate to be okay all right so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial i believe you learned a lot from this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section below and your suggestions as well so thank you for coming and see you in the next video bye